Alrighty, what are we going to film today? Oh shoot, we're recording. Okay. So you want to buy a bearded dragon. I mean, that's why you clicked on the video, am I right? Well, you came to the right place. This is the perfect video for you because I've owned bearded dragons for almost three years now and I'm going to be showing you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. So you're going to want to watch this before buying a bearded dragon. Let's get started. It wouldn't be a bearded dragon video if I didn't show you guys Boss the Bearded Dragon. This is my oldest beardy. He's about two years old and he is an absolute legend. Say hi to everybody, boss. He wants to just run around and play right now because he's out of his enclosure. But it would not be a bearded dragon video if I did not introduce Boss the Bearded Dragon to you all. So going into the first tip for you all, if you are interested in buying a bearded dragon, make sure you do your research before purchasing one of these reptiles. I've always been interested in reptiles. I had a ball python when I was like 10 years old. I don't know what happened to it though. It was a long, long time ago, but I've always loved reptiles. And one day, about two years ago, I went into PetSmart and I saw the cute little baby bearded dragons in their enclosure and I had to buy one. It was such an impulse buy, but I'm so happy I did it because I fell in love with bearded dragons. They're honestly amazing beginner pets, but you're gonna wanna follow some of these tips that I'm sharing in today's video before buying them. So tip number one is to actually do your own research before buying. There are so many videos on YouTube about care guides, maintenance, what to expect when buying a bearded dragon, which, which I'm gonna talk about a few of those things in today's video, but there's videos specifically on those topics that you're gonna wanna watch before entering this world of a bearded dragon. So that's gonna be rule number one. It's super simple, but very, very important to do your own research. I know it doesn't sound crucial, but it is honestly the most important thing to do your own research before going into a PetSmart, a Petco, or a reptile shop and just asking the employees in the store, oh, what do I have to do for a bearded dragon? What tank size, blah, blah, blah. It's better if you just do your own research so you know what you're getting into. So, so that is tip number one. Now going into tip number two is the tank size. So this is a watch before you buy video and this is one thing that I wish I knew as a beginner that bearded dragons need a large enclosure. I mean a large, a large enclosure. Let me break this down for you. So you're gonna go into the store and you're gonna see them as little babies in that small little 10 gallon, probably five to 10 gallon enclosure. That's what most pet shops keep them in as babies. And they keep a bunch of them in there at once. Then you're gonna go to the next aisle over and see all of these starter kits and quote unquote starter kits for bearded dragons that are maxed out at like 40 gallons. I'm not saying these are bad. These are really, really good but I wouldn't recommend them for bearded dragons because minimum is like 75 gallons you're gonna need for an adult bearded dragon. All right, so we're on Amazon right now and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean about stuff costing a decent amount of money for bearded dragons. So first of all, let's check out these starter kits for a second. Look, this is a 20 gallon long starter kit. I mean, that's a decent amount of money, but you might be spending this. Let's see what they give you actually. We're gonna see if this is a good deal. I mean, you're getting a heat mat, which you really don't need. You're getting Wait, wait a second. Premium reptile habitat. Oh, this is a snake kit. Okay, so this kind of worried me a little bit because I saw the snake bedding right there. All right, that worried me a little bit. But it says long beard dragon starter kit. But see, this is the stuff you're going to want to watch out for because these starter kits, they are promoting bearded dragon on the actual cover. If you guys can see this right here. But it says snake kit right there. And it even says long bearded dragon in the title. So you're going to want to watch out for this. This is some risky stuff over here. All right, let me, let's check out some more stuff. All right, we're going to look for a good tank kit that I could actually leave in the description down below that if you guys want to purchase it, like a good beginner starter kit, I'm going to find one in just a second and you guys could purchase that for yourselves. But really, really quick, we're going to type in lights, UVB and heat. This stuff, you're going to have to renew every six months so this actually seems like a pretty decent buy right here. And it also says I could save $9.90 with honey. This is not sponsored by honey, but you know, honey's nice. So this is $54.89 and it comes with the whole kit and everything, the bulbs included. This is actually a pretty decent buy. I'm going to leave this one linked in the description if you guys want to purchase this. Ooh, this is nice. You're, you guys have to buy this for your bearded dragon. Boss loves going on this little hammock right here. I got him this exact same one. If you own a bearded dragon, it's a no-brainer. You got to get him a little hammock. I'm going to leave this link down below as well. Products that are down in my descriptions are products that I love, that I use, 
and I would never promote anything to you guys that I wouldn't use myself. So just keep that in mind when looking in my video description. This is like a no brainer. You're going to want to get a hammock. But then again, there really is no point of buying these starter kits because you're going to need to get a 75 gallon enclosure anyways. This is one thing that I wish I knew in the beginning because I went from a 10 gallon to a 20 gallon to a 40 gallon, then to a 40 gallon breeder. I had so many spare tanks around my house. It was ridiculous. And I finally one day just let go of all of them. I went to a dumpster, trashed them all. So much money down the drain. This is one thing that I really, really wish I knew. So if you're watching right now, you're gonna wanna listen because this is a casual pro tip for you all. First thing is to drop a like because it really helps me out and the channel. The second thing is I would start with a 10 gallon enclosure because you're gonna get them as a little baby. Keep them in there as long as you can. Maybe get a 20 gallon long max. Get a medium sized bearded dragon. So probably one about this big. That's what you're gonna wanna start with. That's probably what you're gonna buy at the store if you're a beginner. You're not gonna get a full grown adult because you're not ready for that. You're gonna get a small bearded dragon. Go to the next aisle over and get a 20 gallon long. That is all you're gonna get. You're not gonna go get a starter kit. Like I said, I'm not knocking starter kits but you're gonna to wanna to get a 20 gallon long. Keep him in there for as long as you can because the 20 gallon longs are not a lot of money and you're gonna be able to keep that baby bearded dragon in there for a decent amount of time. You're gonna be ready for that 75 gallon minimum because that is a monster of a tank. That's what I have upstairs. I'm gonna show you guys at the end of the video my enclosure. Wrapping up tip number two, that's a casual pro tip right there. Saving some money, thinking smart because in this hobby that we're in, it's so easy to get caught up in just buying tanks and buying stuff. Soon you're left over with so many like spare tanks outside or in storage and your house just becomes a zoo with like tanks and enclosures and it's not a good look. I, I have like a nice clean look in my house now. At first there was tanks all over the place. I have a saltwater tank right over there. I have another 60 gallon fish tank over there which I'll show you guys in a whole nother video like, like an update video of all the stuff in my house of my reptiles and fish. So if you're interested in pet keeping consider subscribing down below because this is the channel for you. All right, what else do we have here? I have this whole little script right here. I've kind of been freestyling it though. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this so far, let me know because this is my first ever like script written video. I want to do more of these. So if you're enjoying it, let me know. So we got tank size out of the way. Now maintenance. Maintenance is another big thing. So for the maintenance aspect of things, there's always going to be cost. You're always going to have to spend money. But with bearded dragons, I found that you're spending a lot more than let's say a leopard gecko or a tarantula or even a ball python. Bearded dragons are a little pricey. So that is one aspect on the maintenance side of things about owning a bearded dragon is the stuff could be very expensive in the long run. Every six months you have to renew their lights. I mean, thinking about it in this hobby, all the decorations are expensive, but unlike ball pythons where you only have to feed them once a week, little frozen mice or live rodents, you have to feed bearded dragons every single day a variety of insects, vegetables, fruits, and that could also be very pricey too, especially running to PetSmart, always buying crickets. That's why I think I'm gonna start breeding my own insects and possibly even selling them to you guys. Uh, it's a little idea I have in my head. I might start off with mealworms or something because it can be a little tricky, but I want to give it a shot because I am sick of running to PetSmart and constantly buying crickets. It's not too expensive, but it adds up driving to the store, spending money on gas, wasting time. It seems like a chore after a while, whereas I could just breed some crickets, breed mealworms right in my backyard, get what I need, bring them upstairs to boss and let him eat. But yeah, it's something I want to try. Let me know if you'd be interested in buying some casual pro crickets could be something cool. Another part of maintenance is the cleaning. Bearded dragons are going to the bathroom all the time, so you're always gonna have to do maintenance on them like every few days. And if you ignore it, you're gonna wish you didn't ignore it because their waste smells terrible. To the point where my girlfriend does not even wanna enter my room if there's even like a little speck of waste in boss's enclosure. I mean, it gets bad. So that is just another thing you wanna know before purchasing a bearded dragon is, so that is what you're gonna to wanna to know on the maintenance side of things of owning a bearded dragon is renewing the fixtures, the feeding, and the cleaning. Because let me tell you, especially the last one, you don't wanna ignore that. And it's gonna be a pretty often thing. So keep that in mind before buying one of these guys. Like I said in the beginning of the video, these are things I wish I knew before buying a bearded dragon. I've owned them for almost three years now. And I just wanted to share a little bit of knowledge that I have up in this noggin. 
vlogging with you guys today. So if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, join the family. And also if you wanna check out his 75 gallon tank enclosure, click this video right here and also check out this playlist right here of all my bearded dragon stuff. Have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Peace!